Hello everyone, welcome again. In the software testing tutorial, we are going to learn about state transition testing. Now state transition testing, as the name suggests state transition. So if your software or any module that you are testing can be defined in terms of state or finite states uh, and finite state machine basically, then you can apply the concept of state transitions to test that particular module. So state transition testing, the first thing you have to do is basically understand the module that you are going to test and define that particular module in terms of different states if applicable and then transitions that are possible from one state to another state. You can understand this as uh, you know similar to what any workflow looks like and in the workflow uh, say for example you have a particular state right so for example a defect workflow you have a state of you know in uh, development and that state uh, will be changed to in testing only if the development developer has fixed the test and move it to testing right so something similar concept and very helpful in defining the test cases around the states and transitions for the module now there are other black box test design techniques that i have covered for example ep uh, equivalence partitioning boundary value analysis and decision table testing so if you haven't watched through please go through and watch those tutorials and then come to this particular state transition testing now state transition testing i'll uh, explain this with the example now we'll take an example of the banking website and most of you you know almost everyone of you who are watching this particular video would be having the internet banking account and in the internet banking account there is very common functionality if you enter the username and password a wrong couple of times it's uh, almost you know like mostly it's three three times then your account gets logged and you have to reset your password before you can reattempt to log in to your bank account. So that is the example that we'll take and understand with the state transition and how you can define the transitions in this particular case and states and how you can test that particular module with state transition testing. So if you talk about the bank account, so if, if I have to define that particular functionality in terms of states, so there is a start state okay when we say start state it is basically the bank website launched okay and it is available to you you haven't clicked on login uh, link yet okay so that's the start state then once you have clicked on the login link it will wait for username and password right so it will display a page which will ask for username and password so wait for user and password that's another state of the application so first state is just the website which has this login link and in this particular case you have to click on login link and then it will move to next state which will open the page to enter the username and password and the second state is basically waiting for username and password okay now you you have the state the next state is when you enter the username and password okay so here i can say first attempt is another state when you will be entering the username and password okay then we have the second attempt say for example this application will get logged if i enter wrong username and password three times so we'll have second attempt and third attempt okay then we'll have access to login or access to account state access to account if the user enters correct username and password in any of these attempts he'll be provided access to the account in case he provides wrong username and password for all three times or all three attempts the account will be blocked right so account blocked so on uh, at the high level these are the states that you can think of for the login functionality of the banking application 
Now, because banking application will block the account after three wrong attempts, we have the account blocked state. We have access to account state if user provides the correct username and password in any of these attempts. Okay. So now if we talk about, you know, some of the transitions that can happen. So here we have this login. So once the user clicks on, you know, login uh, button, say for example, clicks on login button, then he will be moved to this wait for username and password. Okay. Now here it is wait, waiting for username and password. In the first attempt, user has entered correct username and password. So if I say it is correct, then he will be moved to access to account. Okay. He will be redirected or the state of the application will be changed and he will be redirected to the account page on the banking application. Right. So that's different state as compared to waiting for username and password right because in the username and password page is different or state is different from the account page in the account page you will be now be able to access how many you know how much money you have in your account right you can you will be able to transfer and all all that okay in case this is not correct okay so i'll say not correct then user will be prompted for second attempt Okay, and there will be appropriate message displayed that username and password not correct, then he will be provided second attempt. Straight away, he, the account won't get blocked because the user will be provided three attempts until the account gets blocked. Okay, so here not correct in the second attempt if the account uh, username and password is correct, then he will get access to the account. Okay, he will be logged into the account. If it is not correct, he will be not correct he will be provided third attempt and the third attempt if username and password is correct he will be provided access to the account if he is providing the username and password in the third attempt and the username and password is not correct in the third attempt as well then the state of the application will be account blocked Right. So you see how we have defined this particular whole module login module in states. So we have the start state and then we click on the login button. Then after clicking on the login button, the next state is waiting for username and password, which is, you know, another screen after waiting for username and password here. Uh, still user is waiting for username and password in the first attempt user has entered the incorrect username and password he will be moved to the second attempt incorrect third attempt third attempt incorrect account blocked in case account or correct details are provided in any of these three attempts he will be provided access to the account right so you can see how we have defined the transitions for this particular application and now you can easily use this these transitions to test the application and how the application will behave when you define the test cases based on these state transitions. So a state transition testing is, you know, black box test design technique, which you will use to define your application or the module uh, with different states and then come up with test cases based on states and how the application will behave when the application is in different state. So you can now you can convert these into the test cases and define the test cases. So for example, user uh, provides wrong username and password for, you know, uh, in up to second attempt, but provides correct username and password in third attempt, he should be provided access to account. If he provides three wrong uh, username and password attempts, then his account should be blocked. So that's how you will based on this diagram or work that you have done, you will come up with the test cases and document those test cases, right? So this is what it is. And now the other important thing to understand in state transition testing is the four key things. So states, transitions, uh, actions and events. Okay. So if we, if we talk about the states, so these round things are the states. So we start state, first attempt, second attempt, right? Transitions 
are these arrows that you see so if it is not correct that's the transition second attempt not correct that's the transition correct password is the transition so from one state to another state if uh, if the application or or the flow moves from one state to another state that's the transition then actions uh, or events basically if we talk about the events so here if we are clicking on the login link then that's the event and event basically causes the transition so when you are accessing the banking website you click on login link so that is an event clicking on login is the event and once you click on login link that event results in the transition because you clicked on login link it results in a transition this arrow and it moves that particular application state from start which is basically just the website to waiting for username and password right so that's another state so event and then based on the event it transitions to other state okay actions are the error messages that you can say so you, you can think of something like so if i try first attempt and in the first attempt i provide wrong username and password okay so there will be say for example a message displayed on the login page okay that wrong username and password so if there is you know message that is getting displayed that's basically you know the action that will be uh, displayed so these are you know four uh, key things so states transition uh, and you know events and actions to to understand um, in detail for state transition testing so that's all for this black box test design technique state transition te uh, testing this is very helpful and you need to understand this in detail for your actual work or for interview this will be asked very frequently in the software testing interviews so hope this was helpful and clear please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching